You guys ready to go get something to eat? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. Today we're going to learn a really cool trick where you can take a used rifle cartridge, uh, this is a 270, and you can turn it into this, a real effective lure on uh, trout and pike. You can use different size cartridges to target different size fish, uh, all the way down to 22 shell, or if you got like a 50 BMG, it's great for salt water. Um, but anyways, here's how you do it. All right, the first thing I gotta do is hammer this shell out so that it's totally flat. And again, you're using a spent shell. Uh, you know, there's no bullet or powder in it, obviously. But anyways, here we go. Okay, I got it all hammered out. Uh, you know, this end here uh, is, is hard to get real flat, but just get it as flat as you can. And then uh, the more dented and stuff it is, the better, really, because it'll give more sheen when it's uh, going through the water. Uh, but the next step is we're going to shape it a little with our grinder. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thickness down to about half of what it is now at this thick head. And then I'm just going to kind of gently round the corners. So here we go. Okay, you can see that... Uh, I took that width down to about half there at the head um, and then I just rounded it the corners there and then on this end I kind of gave it a pretty good taper there and rounded the corners as well. So now we're going to drill our holes. Uh, one hole is going to be for the split ring that you attach your line to and the other hole will be to, for the split ring that you'll put your hook in. So let's do that right now. Okay, now that we got our two holes drilled, uh, one over there, one over there, now we're going to just remove any burrs around the edges, uh, around the holes, but also just around both ends of the body there, because you don't want any sharp uh, edges that might nick your line when you're casting. Okay, next we got to take our uh, piece here and we got to bend it so that it looks like our finished product. Uh, we want it to be a real gentle S curve like that. And so hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's just a gentle curve in opposite, in opposite directions. Uh, and we're just gonna use two pairs of pliers to do that. So here we go. We basically want that gentle S shape like that. So now we're just gonna take some sandpaper just to brighten up our brass. Uh, it doesn't take long. And you can see it just gets real shiny there. And we're just going to do that all over the body real quick. It's okay if you can't get in the dimples. In fact, it's it's almost better because that will uh, throw a little contrast when it's glittering in the sun. Okay, now we're ready to paint on our dots so that it looks like our finished one. Uh, I like to just do dots on one side. Um, you can do dots on both sides though. Uh, but anyways, I just use uh, red paint. And it doesn't particularly matter what kind of paint you use because you're going to give everything a clear coat afterwards, actually several coats. But uh, anyways, here we go. Okay, so we're going to let those three red dots dry uh, overnight. And then after that, we'll come back and we'll spray, uh, oh, probably three coats of clear coat on it, you know, 30 minutes drying time between coats. And then after that, we'll just go ahead and attach our number four uh, split rings and a number four hook on one end. And then we'll have a finished product that looks just like that. Okay, uh, we got <clears throat> all of our lures made. Um, you can do them in different color formations too. Like this is also 270, but I painted it with chrome paint before I did the clear coat. These I used a 300 wind mag. And I'm going to use them for salt water, so I wanted them to be extra heavy. So what you can do, uh, this is a 270, but if you had a 300 wind mag, you can put little weights inside the neck and stack them up inside here. 
Uh, I used four of them and then I flattened it with the hammer. Those weights end up just getting flat in the brass when you pound it out and so you end up having a a little bit thicker spoon uh, that is nice and heavy so you can wing it a long ways which is great for salt water. The other thing you can make is you can make some lures out of just pipe. Uh, so here's a half inch uh, apex pipe and that's a good size for a bass lure there. You can kind of imagine what I did right there without even really talking about it. And kind of did the same thing here with some electrical conduit, a little bit bigger, three quarter inch. Uh, but that's going to be a saltwater lure that I can, that'll dive down quite a ways, plus has enough weight that if I do a slow retrieve it'll go deep. And anyways, that's great for saltwater. Uh, but anyways, hopefully that gives you some ideas. A really cool idea to do with your spent rifle ammunition. And like I said, different calibers are different sizes, so they work great for different types of fish. But give it a try.